Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb, and this right here is my Bible. Inside, you'll find 66 books from history and poetry to letters and words of wisdom. God inspired dozens of writers over hundreds of years to record these words. And together, they tell the epic story of how God made this world and everything in it, including us. God loves us so much that when we turned away, God made a plan to restore us to relationship. Each of us is invited to love and follow God with our whole lives, even when we can't see the next steps ahead. That takes true faith. And I have five stories of the early church to show you what it can look like. We get started in the book of Ephesians. There we go. Here, the Apostle Paul packs a punch with the letter he writes to the believers in the church at Ephesus. Paul reminds them, God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Faith isn't something you make happen. It's an incredible gift. One you don't even have to wait for your birthday to open. <laughs> we hop back to Acts for our next story. Paul and his friend Silas have been sharing Jesus with everyone in the town of Philippi. But their wholehearted preaching puts them at odds with some city leaders who have them thrown in prison. Stuck behind bars, Paul and Silas could throw an epic pity party. Instead, they hold a sing-along with an earth-shaking intermission. Time to jump to the end of Acts. No. Paul has been arrested once again, and he's on his way to Rome for trial aboard a ship. It's time for winter storms, and Paul warns the centurion in charge, Julius, that they need to stay in harbor. Instead, Julius orders the ship to sail on, and within days, a terrible storm whips up. Paul refuses to despair, though and shares a heartening word from God with everyone on board. Now we're heading to the book of Hebrews. Here, the writer reminds the believers in the Hebrew church just how important it is for them to stick together. Let us hold firmly to the hope we claim to have. The God who promised is faithful. Let us consider how we can stir up one another to love. Let us help one another to do good works and let us not give up meeting together. Instead, let us encourage one another with words of hope. Bottom line, our faith is better together. Time to wrap up, literally, in the book of Revelation. Jesus' friend John has lived a long, full life, but he's sentenced to spend his final years on the island of Patmos. As John prays, God sends him an incredible vision of what Jesus' followers will face, both soon and at the end of time. Some things are terrible, others encouraging. The most amazing picture is of the moment when God will make right everything that's wrong and end the need for tears forever. When we trust that God knows the end of the story and can guide our steps each day, we begin to walk in faith. And I can't wait to see what it looks like in you and me.